here we are in the Tower of London. We've just witnessed Leighton Bennett against Phil Taylor, and we've got Rob Cross for us. Rob, did you enjoy that from your, uh, how should we put it, um, inconspicuous viewing? Yeah, it was a little bit different, that viewing. Um, nah, do you know what? Really proud of him tonight. Phil played very sharp out the gates, you know, averaging 115, and I think actually it was probably easier for Leighton to throw the towel in. And he didn't. He keeps grafting, he keeps getting better every week now. And um, he's an absolute, absolute, <laughs> absolute pleasure, yeah, just to be around. He's a really nice boy and he's going to go on to great things. I believe that massively. You've been practicing with him. How good is he? Because obviously we've seen him tonight and we've seen bits of him, but you've seen him at close quarters. How good could he be? Well, to be honest with you, you look at his game, yeah, and I would say what he's played tonight, he's pushing at the minute, and, it, and all the gears ain't there yet. But the older he gets and the more he's playing, I reckon in another year, I reckon, yeah, he could have another 20%. So then he's going to be 100 plus nearly every time. And do you know, it's, it's more the mannerism of him. He wants to win, he's hungry, and, and he comes out, he conducts himself in such a good way, I believe. And um, he doesn't fold, and he, he's got everything in the making of, a, of an adult world champion. He's already obviously got the youth. Moving on to yourself, are you feeling better? Obviously, you had to pull out of Sunday's Pro Tour because not feeling 100%. Back to normal now? Yeah, I feel brilliant. So I'm on with this week now, Gizzy Price in the week, and um, should be a good game. I'm really looking forward to it. You started 2019 almost back to your best. Was it a relief, not to give up your World Championship, because obviously no one wants to lose it, but was it a relief to have that off your back and you could just be Rob Cross again? Yeah, I think I've obviously sorted my routine now, my practice regime now every day. No matter how I feel, if I feel bad, I, I practice. And um, I sort of that work ethic's back now. Um, but really, I, I think the biggest thing what's helped me this year is the experience. I know what's coming. I know everything, yeah, where I'm going, the time, what I'm going to spend away now. I even, I'm going to hit low points in, my, in the year this year when I'm away. But at the same time, I'm going to know how to deal with them better because I know they're there now. Last year was a lot of uncertainty. Um, for me, I like to feel in control of what I'm doing in life. And last year was one of them things, I think no matter how much I could have tried it last year without experiencing it, it would have, been, it would have always been hard because I wasn't in control. But now I feel back in control. Now I know what's coming and I believe I'm gonna perform every week. We've seen some special performances from you in the Premier League in particular this year, big 100 plus averages again. Joint top of the table as we speak. Is it important for you to top the table or is it just making the O2 for now? I think, I think first step first, um, really make the O2. Keep winning games like I have been. I've been solid, I've been playing some really good stuff and I've been enjoying it again. And um, that's a massive key. Um, everything's brilliant around me, so I've got no excuses why I can't go in there and win my remaining games and top the table and beat Michael. But um, first thing first, definitely get qualified, and then yeah, we'll look if the opportunity's then, and then look to top it definitely. I suppose the only disappointment in this year's Premier League was Dublin against, against Michael. Was it just one of those nights for you? No, not really. I, did, I knew what I'd done wrong straight away. Um, I've been prepping myself in such a way and, and I've been enjoying my darts and I think I went out and I knew I was playing well and I walked on the stage and I, I come out, alright, fair enough, missed first leg for a break. That hurt me a bit but I tried too hard. I tried to be Michael, instead of playing Rob's my normal game, I tried to be Michael and um, I wanted a big performance and I was naive really because when I'm like that I don't produce, I put too much on myself and break myself. So. I think it's a good thing that that happened, really. It hasn't really hurt me. Um, and I know next time, just, just go out there, do what you do. And if I do that, it'll be a lot, lot closer. At the start of the year, everyone was talking about how Michael was going to win everything, the form he's in. The last month, he showed he is human. As players, do you believe that he's there for the taking right now? No. Um, in, in fairness, Michael's Michael. Michael turns up, usually plays well and stuff. And... At the minute, yeah, maybe the results haven't gone for him. But what we've got to remember is Darts is still getting stronger. Michael is the elite one out of everyone. He is the best in the world, and that's why he holds that crown. Um, but really, it, it, we've got to see like the improvement from others to chase Michael down. And I don't believe, I don't believe it for any reason or whatever that 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 just that was meant to be for the last couple of weeks. But it resumed normal procedure. And if you're going to beat him, you're going to have to work hard and you're going to have to play out of your socks. 
and, and it's possible. It's always been proven before too. Obviously as well, the ranking, this is your second year, so you're obviously defending a lot of money this year. First time you've been in this position, is that something that weighs on your mind? You go into tournaments knowing what you're defending and, and things like that, and is it a worry that you could drop massively in the rankings if, he, if you don't perform? No, no. Um, I've not really. I, I'm not one for rankings. If we, if we look at this year, this year, last year I had a free year and the next enough done nothing. It was a learning year for me, so the progress was different. This year, I, there isn't nothing there. It's just Rob, and um, I'm enjoying it. I don't go into a weekend and think that I've got that money to defend. I know I'm defending this year, but who cares? What will be will be. If I slip down to 60th in the world, what's the matter? I have to pull my socks up a little bit more, work a little bit harder and get that right. But um, what will be will be. There's no point worrying about it. World Cup on the horizon as well. As it stands, you're probably going to be playing with Michael Smith. That's an exciting England team where the Dutch have had it all their own way a little bit over the last few years. Are you looking forward to playing with Michael and possibly winning the World Cup for England? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, obviously, that was a new experience last year for me, and I thought it was phenomenal. I really did. First time get to wear an England shirt, and it's a proud moment. With Michael this year, Michael's playing some great stuff. All right, fair enough. He's Premier League. He hasn't really kicked off yet, but he will get going. He's too good not to. And he's... Um, I think since I've been on tour, Michael's grown as a player. He's been, he's always improving. He had such a great year last year, and it'll be a privilege to play with him in this World Cup. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Rob, thanks for joining us at Live Darts. As always, mate, you always take the time out for us, and it's much appreciated. We'll let you get back to England, and we'll see you in Berlin, mate. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers, buddy.